Welcome, art lovers, to the art vlog with me, George Dovanine. Today, I want to take you inside the very small exhibition at the National Gallery, The Ugly Duchess, Beauty and Satire in the Renaissance. This is part of a series of exhibitions, which are some of my favorite in London, actually, um, because they're small and they pair a classic portrait or painting from the National Gallery with um, some contextual works. Think about the Picasso and Ang show that I bought you last year. This show, this show features as its centerpiece one of the National Gallery's most famous pictures, The Ugly Duchess, or as I prefer to call it by its official name, The Old Woman, by Quentin Massis, a Northern Renaissance artist. But it has so many questions around it, so much mystery, that I can't wait to see what the National Gallery are going to do um, in this small exhibition. This exhibition is on until the 11th of June, and the great news is it is free, so please come along and join me as I take you inside the hallowed halls of the currently, if I just spin you round, the currently rather um, scaffolded National Gallery and explore this show um, and, and, and see if it's something that's, that, that, that you would like. If you've been to this show, as always, do put some, some comments. I love to read them. Um, so come and join me. Your eyes are immediately drawn to the old woman, the so-called ugly duchess. Her face is astonishing. Every wart and wrinkle is highlighted. The bulbous head and the seemingly toothless mouth um, cut a rather pathetic figure. Beseeching eyes, still full of warmth in my opinion in humanity, look hopefully up, and we can only understand that hope by, compare, by looking at the companion piece. A low-cut dress reveals cleavage and the woman is holding a rosebud. But the rosebud is withered. Is this woman a perpetual virgin being mocked? In the exhibition's view, this is satire. The, the curatorial view is that Massis is mocking a genre of Renaissance painting by showing the lust of an old woman, but also producing this in a finely executed portrait full of great artistic care. I was next drawn to the beautifully painted headdress, clean and incredibly detailed. We learn that the double horned headdress was very much out of fashion by 1513, um, as beautiful as it is, and designed with a stunning brooch. The plunging cleavage, we're led to believe, makes a mockery of the woman's age and aspiration for, for a lover. The real artistic treat of the exhibition is to see the old woman reunited with her companion piece, the old man. This is a much more sober um, portrait um, of quite an unremarkable face in comparison to the Duchess herself. He, like she, rests his hand on a marble um, tabletop which matches across both portraits and it's really lovely to see this symmetry. And she's raising a hand and we're left to speculate, is this in gesture or more likely rejection? Is he reaching out to her or saying no? Next to um, this painting, we see another work by Massis of an identical man drawn to the same proportions, but this time oil on paper as opposed to oil on, um, as opposed to oil on a panel. Um, it's really lovely to see these three works actually together in one place. As I said, the curatorial line is that this is satire. Uh, but there is another theory um, that I couldn't help being rather taken with, um, maybe because I'm a hopeless old romantic, that this is actually, that this is a tender portrait of a woman with maybe a, a disease. Some people have suggested Paget's disease. The tech care taken could mean that this is a genuinely tender portrait of an ageing woman. There's also another theory which I'll mention um, in my final review of the show and post a link for below, but that's not mentioned in the actual um, curatorship of the exhibition here. From here, we're taken on an art history journey um, that provides a rather wonderful Renaissance context of um, the old woman or the ugly duchess um, by providing some works which influenced 
um, this painting by Massis. And it also explains how art ideas spread around Europe from Renaissance Italy to Antwerp where this painting was produced. We've shown copies, two copies of a lost painting by Leonardo da Vinci entitled Grotesque Old Woman. It's thrilling to see, and you can hopefully see here how clearly Massis was influenced by this painting, which had been copied and spread across Europe. We've shown Leonardo's interest in this subject matter through an original of his, a satire on aged lovers, and also a copy of grotesque profiles, copies of a work by Leonardo, which was spread across Europe, which is probably how Massis came into contact with his or old woman or the ugly duchess. Israel uh, van Mechenem's unequal couple forms further context, while Jan uh, Gossert's an elderly couple is apparently the type of, of, of sort of serious noble painting that Massis was actually satirising in The Ugly Duchess. The other side of the room provides a small taste of the portrayal of older women in art of the Renaissance, as you can see here, not just, um, not just paintings but other works as well. An absolute highlight which has come from Antwerp is another Massis painting entitled An Older Woman, which you can see here. I was absolutely bewitched by this painting, the sort of rather cheeky face, the slanting eyes, looking away, um, suggests, uh, suggests real intimacy in some ways with the sitter and tenderness as well. We also see an engraving by Albrecht Dürer, a challenging image which kind of backs up the idea that Massis in his quote-unquote ugly duchess painting was up un upending the tradition of order of things by placing our duchess on the side usually taken by the male portrait. Um, so when you saw see the two pieces together, if you were a Renaissance viewer, you'd have probably felt a little bit of unease and disquiet at this. Well, I hope that gave you a sense of um, the ugly duchess, beauty and satire in the Renaissance here at the National Gallery. I really enjoyed these exhibitions in room 46 of the National Gallery, where they utilise their collection by pulling out one or two choice pictures. The highlight was seeing the ugly duchess paired with its companion piece, which is usually in an American private collection. That was really special and it's not something we'll probably get a chance to see again. And there were contextual work, the other, place, the other pieces by Mati, uh, Massis and also um, Leonardo da Vinci or art followers of Leonardo da Vinci and others put this into context really nicely. It was a thought-provoking show for our times, um, asking us to question um, issues about standards of beauty, the betrayal of women in art and culture and also gender, fluidity and sexuality. I would say there was a very, very strong curatorial um, emphasis on one explanation for this painting when as I hopefully showed you in the actual um, exhibition itself there are many questions about this this piece and what's been really interesting is since the exhibition has 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 launched or just before the exhibition has launched a piece came out in the Observer newspaper where there was kind of a consensus building that actually the ugly duchess was in fact a cross-dressing man this wasn't really covered in the exhibition um, instead, the ugly duchess was portrayed as, as pure satire. So that was interesting as well. And the more I looked at the painting, the more I saw a, a bald man's face, although obviously the cleavage um, suggests otherwise. Um, a really thought-provoking exhibition, and what I love, I mean, it won't take you long. It took me probably about 20, 25 minutes in there, and I'm someone who spends quite a long time in the exhibitions. But it does draw you into this absolutely fascinating portrait that has, has bewitched and, and um, captivated audiences at the National Gallery since um, and brought to the gallery in 1947. So yeah, I recommend this. It's interesting, it's, it's cheap, it's free. Um, it's on until the 11th of June. And I would say, you know, if you're in, in London for some art action, make time to come along and see it. 
Um, we'll be back at the National Gallery actually quite soon for the After Impressionism exhibition, Inventing Modern Art, which I absolutely can't wait for. And I'll definitely pop back in and have another view of this Ugly Duchess um, uh, exhibition as well. Um, so do, don't forget to subscribe to the Art Vlog for the constantly rich London art scene. I'm kind of exhausted and I'll also be covering um, the County of Sussex because it's a big year for the County of Sussex with the Turner Prize coming and, and Sussex is one of our art powerhouses so do wait for that as well. Subscribe to the Art Vlog, hit that notification bell but most importantly get out there and explore this incredibly rich art scene.